today I'm going to be doing Alfredo's 4th of July themed hamster cage tour. Happy Independence Day to anyone else who does live in the U.S. Um, I think the other day was actually just Canada Day, so happy late Canada Day to all my Canadian viewers and happy Tuesday to everyone else. But today we're going to be doing Alfredo's cage tour. As you can see, he is totally decked out for the 4th of July. On the front of his tank, I just have this red, white, and blue garland that has little white stars along with some red, white, and blue little star decals. He is actually out roaming around right now. He looks a little bit different than last time you saw him because he is getting older and his fur is getting very fluffy because he is long haired and it's definitely starting to really show now. So he is just out and about and exploring. So we'll just start with his bedding. This time for his bedding, I'm using Carefresh, but I'm just using the white Carefresh. I got it on Amazon for a pretty good deal, so I thought I would go ahead and do white. So now let's go ahead and go inside the cage. So for the back of his cage, this theme, I actually found this little American flag at the Dollar Tree. Um, it actually is pretty close to the right size. There's about an inch or two on each side, but it does do a nice job at covering up the back. So I'm using that this month instead of my normal wrapping paper. Over here, he has his blue Carolina Storm Express Wheel, which I absolutely love and looks great. And then his KT water bottle. Moving up to the front, he just has a really dark blue, almost purplish ceramic food dish with some sunburst in it and some Missouri rat and mice pellets. And then he has a little bright blue cardboard tunnel. And right in front of that tunnel is this really cute light and dark blue wooden elephant that he can tear apart and chew up. Just beside that, there's a red ceramic mug that he can use as a little hide or just play in that is also from the Dollar Tree. And then some little red and blue chews. And then back at the back is something I'm sure he's going to destroy really fast. This is just a fun tower of little red, white, and blue cups. I decided not to glue these together or anything. That way he can just run through them and destroy them, do whatever he wants. I'm guessing I'll take some of them out pretty soon, but I just wanted to see what he would do with them stacked up like that. So hopefully he'll have some fun with that. And then over beside that is what I'm guessing he will turn into his main sleeping area. This is just a really pretty like ice blue igloo from Petco. And then finally up in this corner is just another little blue tube for him to play in. He isn't full grown yet so he can fit in a critter trail tube if he wants to play in there. And then we'll just pan back over and see Alfredo. That is his cage tour for the 4th of July. I did keep this one pretty short and sweet, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of Alfredo since I haven't shown him lately. Like I said, he is starting to get super, super fluffy and I know it's going to continue. I think it's absolutely adorable. Let me know down in the comments what you think of long haired Syrian males. I think they're really cute, but I know some people don't really like all the hair. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time.